people? Welcome back. More daily duels, of course. So now we are tagging with Tiago using trains. Trains have been fairly well, and they have been putting in that work. Uh, there is no complaints with this deck, you know. I am not saying like, oh yeah, let's just go ahead and kick this deck off, and they quit. <laughs> All right, starting off pretty good. They're back. Okay, like I said, welcome back. Oh, got that snap steal. Oh my god, so broken. <laughs> Oh my gosh, nice deal. Oh, okay. Furnimals, Fuffles. You gonna go ahead and grab that poly? There's really no reason to fuse right now. Yeah. Take it slow. That's a lot of back row. Wow, a lot of back row. A lot, whoa. Okay, so pretty much if we fuck up your, your plans or whatever, you're pretty much out of the duel. Because <laughs> we know that, well, maybe, maybe. That's not, maybe you set the poly, but, you know. Like, wow, it's a lot of back row. <laughs> that is a lot. I did not think Fluffles ran back row like that. But anyway, I was talking about trains. Uh, you know, there's no complaints in this deck. I know I'm not sitting here like, yeah, man, fuck trains. I'm gonna take them off of the freaking Daily Villas. Nope, nope. I like this deck. It's fun. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, it puts in that work and it's fun. Wow. Tiger must have opened up terribly. This guy, he's pretty much just locked out of his freaking, uh, he can't even play any spells or traps. It's fucked up, you know. You know, especially a tag duel, like, don't say all of it, you know. Leave a bit of room for the imagination. <laughs> you know? He said all of it, you just locked your freaking partner out of a freaking playing spells and traps. No, if he's playing, like, Fire Fist right now, if he wants to play Tenki, too fucking bad. And I'm fully gonna have to like MST his own fucking card. And especially since Tiago didn't commit to anything too. You know? I mean in his situation the best thing would be oh this Crystal Beast. Wow, alright. Yeah, it is Crystal Beast. So Crystal Beast with all the fucking shit filled, like <laughs> That's a dick move. Dick move. Whew. So what does this guy do? Cannot be destroyed by card effects. Okay. He's like, this fuck it, just attack for a thousand. So it really seems like this duel might go fairly slow, you know. This guy's not committing to many plays, Tiger's not committing to many plays. Oh, Odd Eyes Pendulum Gang, yeah, this deck definitely plays the Odd Eyes to search for these guys. Yep, Odd Eyes during the end phase. He's gonna get Vanguard. All, all Odd Eyes is is really a searcher in this deck, you know. He really can't pull off much of anything else. So we'll go ahead and go terraform and get my field spell. Field spell activate. Pistol ruffian card. Mm, no. Magic train. Okay. <laughs> Magic train. He's like, he's like, you know what? I really want to fuck you up. Like, oh. Okay. No, it wasn't even worth it. You know, I, I could pitch the snatch still, but... Alright, now this is just getting annoying. This is really just getting annoying now. Please, will you please fucking stop with the background. So much background. It's background, 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 background. Like, alright, alright. I really wanted to get my field spell, but thanks. All right, Mr. Fluffle guy, it's your turn. No. Oh. You set so much back row. I, you know, you're a fusion deck. You need to have you know monsters to fuse with, and it just seems like you just set an ass ton of back row. You know, I could have pitched a snatch steal, but uh, I'd rather keep it. You know, I have way more terraforming. I only have one snatch steal, so it's not even worth it. You know, that snatch steal might be very helpful depending on, you know, what, what goes down in this door. We should be able to just snatch up our opponent's monster.
the other guy says that they can't be destroyed by tar card effect. I think there's one that says they can't be targeted. I think it's the other pendulum zone scale. So if he wants the pendulum shotgun. I think he just played all that just to get the shit out of the way, really. Because, you know, that really wasn't the most beneficial time to turn. It was okay. It was okay. I was only supposed to be one, so if he turned on me, I would just die. I wouldn't get my full spell start. So it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't the most beneficial time to do that. But I think that, you know, you go ahead and play the turn to play the magic drain. Okay, but play the turn so and clear up some of that background, get rid of some of his partners, ro make room for his freaking crystal beast. Can't even play any goddamn crystal beast. This is a dick move. And now it seems like they don't even have any other background. <laughs> well, it seems like, oh, like, what the fuck is the rest of this? Like, hello? <laughs> Y'all niggas are getting fucking fucked up. Does it have to be the tactician? Yeah, it has to be the tactician. Now nah, y'all are getting fucked up. See? Aren't you mad that you wasted that, waste that turn until now? I bet you salty now. You could've fucking stopped Tag on his tracks, just locked it down with the Tyranitar. You could've fucked up Tag up. Nope, nope, you're just like, you know what? I'm gonna play it now. Okay. You made yourself neg, because you got rid of your own monster and Tyranitar, so two cards from my one monster. You nagged. But hey, you got room for your crystal beast. So let's see it. You're gonna go ahead and put him the pendulum. And then just go pendulum shock on him. Summon like a whole bunch of winds and then go into expensive ass lightning chidori. Holy shit, lightning chidori is expensive. It's like 30 to 50 bucks. Like, <gasps> holy crap. I mean, I know Hermit Yokai can play it. That's nice and all, but. Holy crap, like, Yu-Gi-Oh is so expensive. Well, and with the fucking Necro? So, oh my god, I'm gonna talk about that tomorrow in tomorrow's video, but god damn. Whew! <laughs> so, we're just waiting for this core belief. When I, when I, when I like, like, skimmed his name, I read Cory Beef. <laughs> like, what about Beef? Like, you know? <laughs> Uh, all crystal beast monsters remember dragon can, can not be targeted by pump's card effect. Alright, so I can't even snatch Dylan now. Yep, I knew that. I'm like, you're probably gonna pendulum choke in your Pegasus and search. Is that it? This card says when it's summoned. Go ahead and put a Pegasus. Alright. Uh, there's one win, so you can summon another win. You can like, see into like Nichidori or something. Even though there's a Felgrand on the field. Wow, united we stand. All right. Didn't see that coming at all. Yep, I was just about to say Vanguard. Damn, and they scopped it up. Good, cause I was gonna snatch it. I want, I want that, I want that pretty peck assist. I'm a brony. I'm not a brony. Oh, I'm just kidding. I, I don't even. I'm not even into my little pony. Anyway, we got, we gotta go get another good one. Be right back. All right, we're back. We're going against Bruh. That's it. Is that you? <laughs> wow, they allowed Tanya to go first. You know, they had all that back, like, I wonder what that back row was, you know? Like, literally, all he, all he, it, all it happened is that his pendulum scale got destroyed, and all of a sudden, he just scooped it up, like, oh, okay, you know? Like, that's it, that's all I win. He's like, oh, no, my scale got destroyed, I quit, like, you knew it was gonna happen as soon as you freaking went off to the fortress. You had a freaking zero attack fucking, uh, uh, galaxy wizard, yeah, galaxy wizard, yeah. Right there, but you decided to go up to the fortress. Fortress said, go ahead, I'm gonna pop a card. Pop a card, pop that fucking Vanguard Rogue Scoop. <laughs> like, what was your back row? You guys had three back rows that we didn't even know. I should have saved the replay, oh well. I don't even care. Oh, there's that first turn, please. Is that Panzer Dragon? Yeah. You can just insta-fusion him and then during the end phase go ahead and target a card on the field and you strike because it'll be destroyed by the insta-fusion. It's a dick move. <laughs> I 
That first turn pre of these. No Royal Decree though. Alright, it's Bruh's turn. 40 card deck, 15 extra deck. It seems like we're gonna have a duel here. Oh, okay, a water deck. What type of water deck? Oh, Nefclops, okay. I didn't know they played more read. I haven't seen any of the decks that topped. So, I mean, maybe. That deck is already fast and consistent. Am I missing something? He just bounced his own Pleiades. Like, was there a reason for that? Oh, so you want to have a monster on the field for, I guess, Trish. No, no effect to Trish. You get his effect. You search, Yen, Bionic, so, no, it's free, I'm here. It's free, it's free to play Necrozo on this site. Well, I guess I get why you bounced the the, the Pleiades. Because then he couldn't banish her. You know, because this has to be everywhere. Has to be. So because we don't have anything on the field, he didn't have anything to banish, so he couldn't resolve his effect to pick something out of Tago's hand in Graveyard. Wow, this hand is, uh... <coughs> terrible. Uh, <laughs> terrible. I don't even have any rank fives either. This hand is just the butt. That sucks too. Oh, I would have had one more fucking monster. I can't even play you. Can't even play you. Emerald is nice, but I don't need it right now. Seriously, just open up with all fucking. You still summon you, right? Summon you, summon you. I won't get that. Yeah, I can go into Dora. Yeah, no, I'll go ahead and do that. It's probably Royal Decree, but I'll go ahead and space it. What the fuck is that? Okay. Miracle Synchro Fusion. Okay. Going to da 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 Dora. <sighs> should I kill the Trish or should I kill the Monju? Could probably block the Trish. You know, I'm gonna kill the Monju because then I'll pass over to the Necro player and at least he won't have like, like uh, what's his face? Uh, what's his face? The fucking. Fucking oh my god, I cannot put my fucking name on it. Fucking Decisive Armor, that's his name. Decisive Armor. No, because if I would attacked into him and he had decisive armor, I would have got fucked up unless I, you know, used my Dora effect to make him unaffected. Which I could have done. But instead of doing that, I could just allow Tiago to run it over. Unless this guy's also using Necros, but you know, he already said that. He was laughing at his opponent because we said because Tiago left the hosting up to say no Shadal, so I was like, hey, let's go against Necros. I'm probably probably the one person in the world who's not impressed by Necros. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I'm confused. I'm totally confused. Like I haven't seen any of the Necro decks that have topped uh, you know, uh what was it? YCS what? I forgot which YCS it was, but no, I haven't seen any of the decks that top, but I just know there's a whole bunch of Necros. Sylvans. And whenever I do against Sylvans, they always open up Busty. Always. Always. They always get the Sylvan Charity, and they get the Lone Fire, and they just open up Busted. So let's go ahead and see what he can pull off. 
I can always interrupt his plays with a nice powerful the crane the catch. Oh, he put he put all them girls back. He's like, go back. Like, no, 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 not right now. <laughs> I don't know anything about the Sylvanic Sea Monsters. I'm trying to think if any of them are spell speed 2. Like, or do they have like an effect on summon? Or do they activate? Are you just gonna turn to Trist to defense mode? He's like, you know what? I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Go ahead and set your freaking uh, stumpy guy. Wow, he didn't commit to anything. Like, okay. You know, I didn't even open up that well. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, bruh, no plans for self, and so, at least I, you're gonna set your little uh, foot st stool. He's like, I could have made a rank seven, but fucking Dora is a fucking monster. Like I said, whenever I do it against Sylvan, they, they up and up and busty, so I know you got something in that hand. Dread. I've never seen any, I've never heard anybody call this card Dread. I mean, I know it's Super Dreadnought, Real Cannon, Superior Dora, but everybody just calls it Dora. Like, never heard anybody call it Dread. Dread, alright. I mean, it is something to Dread. A very powerful monster. I remember when I first looked at it, I was like, oh, it's not as good as Spellgram. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is. That 32, man. That makes a difference, you know? At least with Spellgram, you know, as long as you don't activate anything that, you know, plays a monster effect, you can go ahead and, like, you know, get over 28 with, like, 3,000, you know? But 32? And I can make my shit unaffected? Like, whoo! Dora, in a 4,000 booty? Fucking, I can bounce a Quasar off that booty. Hello, what the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> and then here comes Felgram. Felgram plus Dora equals holy shit. Like, you know, the Necroz guy is gonna have some work. He's gonna have to like, you know, bait us and try to summon a Bionic and bounce them, but even that will be difficult. Oh no, he, he, he's going for the fucking the Galaxy Ice Prime Photon Dragon. Tago ain't fucking around! Galaxy Expedition, alright. Tiago's like, you know what, let me just wrap this up. Summon another one, go for a Pleiades, Pleiades, Detach, Bounce. Um, then that would be 25 plus 32. Oh, no, Volcasaurus, never mind. Hello? So, 27. I wonder if he has Gaia Charger. 27. Let's see, it was Sumi does. 26. 32. Fourth. Oh, that's game right there. That's game. If you have guy charger, that's game. Yep, that's game. We win! GG! This is a short video. I really don't have time. I'm already late with this video, so I really don't have time to record that one. Plus, you know, like I said, I wanted to do 15 to 20 minutes, and I said I was going to start doing that, and then I didn't. So, I'm probably going to try to start doing 15 to 20 minute videos. I mean, unless, unless he has something to block. If he has, like, a fucking Swift Scarecrow or something, but I don't know Soap inside room for that kind of thing. You know? But, I mean, if she does, then hey, more power to you. You got it. You got the Swift Scarecrow. You got the Battle Fighter or something. But I don't think so. I think this is the game. This is game. Yeah, it didn't matter. You could have went to Draco Sack, but uh, as soon as you were summoned, where Dark Effect, Detach Crane, make itself unaffected, pop, before you can summon your token. So, that would be game anyway. So, uh, yeah, there we go. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duel with Trains and Tiago. So, thank Tiago for joining me. Thanks for all his support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with Tonight's, and we are going to discuss them fucking Necros. We're going to discuss them motherfuckers, because 
I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching.